All right, today is Wednesday. That means I did receive quite a few parts for my cheap Mercedes from Copart. This is the new radiator. This is new um, uh, transmission fluid. And this is new coolant and a bunch of miscellaneous parts like uh, transmission connector, transmission pan gasket, coolant uh, lines gaskets, like two of them, uh, transmission coolant line gaskets, transmission filter. And so far this fluid evacuator did suck about three liters three liters of transmission fluid from the system like you see it's nasty brown color not the ruby color so it's how it's supposed to be so I'm gonna jack up the car I'm gonna remove the uh, this protection in the bottom and I'm gonna remove this transmission pan just to replace the filter and and clean the pan and we'll, we'll go from there okay this is how we do evacuate the transmission fluid <laughs> which is a nasty brown color instead of the ruby color right from the dipstick cheap labor from kids so far we got about two, two liters. Probably the right, about two liters more from the pan. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Okay, just removed the shield from the bottom and as you can see there is the minor uh, oil leak most likely from the uh, rear uh, rear seal uh, but I mean it's it's not nothing major I didn't see any drippings on my uh, on my you know, driveway or floor so I, I wouldn't be concerned about it so this is the pan uh, this is the is it? This is the area where this connector is supposed to be, what I'm gonna replace, so let's roll. I don't know if you can see it, but the fluid is like a garbage. Okay, this is the old, old filter. But thankfully, I didn't make a lot of mess here.
All right, I'm gonna leave it to drip it a little bit. Okay, actually, this is the. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is the the tube from this evocator going right in here. So it did reach the bottom, which is good. Okay, this is the oil pan removed. This is the old filter. And I'm gonna suck the remaining oil from here with that evacuator. I'm not sure if you can see. There are pretty much no any like metal particles. It's just like a you know friction parts and uh, this is the magnet it's not it's not bad it needs to be cleaned uh, but I mean it's, it's it's not bad so the new oil should work just fine I mean not oil but the uh, fluid Since I did not remove the, the drain the drain plug because of I did use this evocator, I leave it as it is, leave it alone. I'm gonna jump under the car and clean the surroundings and we're gonna put the pan back. Ah, I apologize, we need to replace the... Uh, we need to replace the connector. So we are jumping underneath the car. So there is a... You probably guys know there is a little screw. You need to unscrew and obviously screw back. Make sure you just tie it very, very, you know, lightly. Otherwise, you can strip the the thread on the other end. And if this is gonna happen, you're gonna need to replace the whole uh, contact plate.
as some of it pointed before I got the green uh, antifreeze in the system and Mercedes is supposed to have the blue one so I purchased brand new original Mercedes antifreeze concentrate so I bought two gallons um, it's gonna mix 50-50 with with the water so it's gonna be four gallons and I should be I, I think it should be approximately enough for the whole system if not I still have some leftovers of blue antifreeze for for BMW which I suppose is gonna uh, mix very nicely with Mercedes and this is the brand new I guess uh, it's uh, Hella uh, or Bear radiator Okay, I'm gonna let it drain. Okay, I did replace the radiator. I did connected all the hoses, like the coolant, the transmission coolant lines. Everything is good. I did fill in the proper transmission fluid level. Uh, I did flush the coolant and I did put like a bluish coolant. Uh, from Mercedes right all right this one but there is one little problem the 
transmission fluid is dripping from the pan. And as I told you, I did use the original Mercedes gasket. I did use the, um, you know, torque wrench to properly torque the bolts. Didn't help. I did it twice. I did flush the transmission. I did remove the, uh, this pan. Uh, again, just to double check that the gasket wasn't wasn't kinked. Put it back in place. Still dripping. I did apply more torque than required just to see if it's gonna help. It did help a little bit, but it still was dripping. So I'm gonna remove it the third time right now. Uh, what I'm thinking to do is I'm gonna try to use the old gasket that wasn't leaking here because I didn't see any signs of transmission fluid leaks uh, before I did remove this pen like in the first place and uh, also what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see if the, if the transmission pen is straight I'm gonna put it on a, on a level surface just to see uh, if it just if it's keeping the shape and um, we'll go from there okay that's the next day and another update for that guy uh, so yesterday i did remove that pen again i did put it on my counter countertop on the kitchen hopefully my wife won't kill me for that uh, just to see if the seam or the edge is straight and i did kind of so i put it i shine with the flashlight and I did see that some light is coming through this um, kind of edge. So it told me that uh, the, uh, I mean, that the, it's not perfectly level or perfectly flat. Uh, so what I was thinking that the, this like a rubber or plastic um, gasket, it just makes it even when it's being properly tied or fastened to the transmission. So I did uh, uh, install the new gasket and put it on my countertop again and still somewhat a lot of light was coming through so it took me like a lot of force to push this pan towards the countertop just to uh, block the light. <clears throat> uh, I did remove the new gasket and I did put the old gasket um on this pan and i redid the test and almost no light was coming through so uh eventually what i did i did put the old gasket on this pan and i did install it back to, the, to this transmission and guess what there are no leaks uh, so there is some kind of sweating i guess from the rear main seal from the engine, I guess, by looking by the color. But I mean, I'm not too concerned about that. Those M113 engines are known for those leaky seals. So obviously the transmission needs to be removed in order to replace the seal. And it doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to leave it like it is. And I'm gonna install the those shields, protective shields, and eventually I'm gonna take it for a for a spin, just to see uh, how the uh, new fluid gonna affect the transmission. Hopefully, it's not gonna break it completely uh, because obviously it's a, it's a very f first. Uh, fluid change in that car history, but it's got only 89,000 miles. So I guess it, it, it shouldn't harm the transmission Hopefully it, it won't sleep with the new fluid And I'm gonna keep you posted All right folks, and so this is update for my cheap Mercedes uh, It's been about a week since I did flush the transmission fluid and since then, I didn't see any single, I probably cannot see it, it's like dark right now, 
any single drip of transmission fluid. So I guess that's a, that's a good sign. I took it for a quick spin around the neighborhood uh, since I cannot take it on a, on a main public road because the car is not being registered yet. Uh, but so far, yes, on, on this quick quick spin, it was good, shift smooth. And uh, so the update, what needs to be done? On the driver's side, this thing is missing. So I took it from my donor car. It needs some work. You can see this, this plastic piece needs to be kind of glued. But other than that, it's, it's, it, it's fine. I need to replace the cracked third brake signal. I'm going to remove my donor car too. It's, it's perfect on, on that one. Uh, I need to secure the bumper. I did put it just to see how it looks like. The gaps looks okay. I need to install back grill. I need to figure out which one is better. I got two of them. Um, and I need to install those kind of mesh trim into the front bumper. Maybe I'm gonna replace the mirrors as I was telling you before. This one got like little you know, foggy here and I got two perfectly fine mirrors waiting from my donut car. So that needs to be addressed. I got this uh, trim piece. It needs to be installed on the driver's side. And this is it for the update for today. And I'm gonna keep you posted like always. You're gonna find out today.